Hello. Welcome again. Namaste. My name is Kavita. And today's video is also about car. Uh, just a bit difficult, but you're always welcome to pause the video and I'll teach you the steps leading to the poses that we'll be doing today. So again, core is about engaging all your energy locks in your body, pelvic floor, lower belly, jugular, blood bag, chin tuck into your chest. It's also about building strength through your frontal body, and we said side body, your obliques, your lower back, into your shoulders, and your wrists. But today, I'll actually sit this way facing the camera. So let's go ahead and find a nice comfortable posture again. Uh, I choose to sit in Madras and I guess this is just one of my favorite postures to start with. So bring your hands in prayer. And we'll start immediately warming up our wrists today, warming up our shoulders before we begin our sequence. So push your fingertips into each other, lift through your elbows, broaden through your collarbones, and then start pushing your right palm into your left and take your gaze with you. And it's very gentle and very subtle. It only works if your elbows are lifted. Take it to as far as you feel that stretch in the back of your wrist. And then inhale it back to center and then exhale it to the opposite side, taking your gaze with you. Again, lifting through both sides of your elbows. We'll do these stretches two more on each side, inhaling to find center, exhaling to push to the left side, inhaling back to center, exhale your way out to the right. One last time, inhale gently back to the center, exhale to the left, push, 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 last one. Inhale back, exhale it up to the center, pushing your fingertips into each other. Beautiful, come back down to midline and then flip your palm now so the back of your wrist is facing each other. Drop your elbows down this time, just take a good stretch. Go ahead and give it a shake. It's so important for us to stretch out our wrist and our shoulders before we begin not only a core workout, but a whole yoga posture, a whole yoga sequence. So take your hands, bring them big, wide, like you're gonna hug yourself, and then drag your hands around over your shoulders. So whichever elbow lands on top, press that elbow down, 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 take your chin with you, and then as you inhale, lift through your gaze, gently lift both your hands up towards the ceiling, open up your palms again away from each other, hands move away from each other, and then exhale this time, opposite elbow comes on top. Again, take a moment to press that elbow first, down to the floor, take your chin in, and then as you inhale, lift your gaze up, open up your hands. One more of this gentle movement, this time bringing the other elbow over. Hands reach over to your shoulders, pull those elbows down, chin down, take a good stretch. And then inhale very gently, use your hands up to lift them up and then bring them to the sides. Last one on this side. So my left elbow's on in front now. I pull my elbows down. I use my palms to really pull into my shoulders there and tuck my chin down. And on an inhale, open up. And then exhale back down here. Um, if you're looking for a breath pattern to use, in most of my vinyasa based or core based classes, I like to use that Ujjayi breathing pattern, which is deep inhale and exhale in and out of your nose. Now, I did do a couple of sun salutations or a little warm up before class, so I would advise you to do the same. We'll lift up immediately into a high plank from there. So in your high plank, let's go ahead and find that nice stable high plank. Elbows, shoulders, over your wrist. Palms open up, pushing your palms away from the floor. Taking your chin again, tucking it in, neutral spine. And then feet hip a distance, you're on your tippy toe here. So you should feel a squeeze in your inner thighs. Your belly slightly lifts in towards your spine and your hips lift. A nice and steady plank. You should start burning immediately, counting your breaths here for five, three, oh, four, three, two, one. On an exhale, and push myself back into downward facing dog. Find a nice steady line of spine here again. Elbows in, pushing your palms away, tucking your chin into your chest. 
chest, that's your Zadha Narabandha. Belly in towards your spine. And then for those of you who can't find your lifting your pelvis up towards the ceiling with your heels on the floor, let's bend into your knees there and then tilt your pelvis up towards the ceiling. Here in down facing dog, I will hold this for a long time. I'm moving back into a high plank, gently rolling my shoulders over my wrist here, pushing the palms away from the floor, and then elbows in, lifting through my belly. This time I'm moving immediately into a single leg or a version of turtle dog here. So you lift your right knee, place it in, exhale, shoot it out. Left knee in, shoot it out. Three more on each side, right knee in, Shoot it out. Really engage through your cores and your side obliques here. Shoot it out. Two more. Right knee in. Shoot it out. Left knee in. Out. One last time. Back there. Left knee. Push back. Hips reach behind downward facing dog. Now observe how I'm using downward facing dog as a resting posture to give a break into my wrist. And then from here, I'll stay here for another breath. But if you do feel like this is not a resting posture for you, please come down to your hands and knees and take a nice little easy chair child instead. From here, I lift back into my plank, and I'm touching and walking into my strength and my core here. This time, right knee stays on my elbow, push it, chuck it right now with that right knee on my elbow, lift up, shoot it back up. Left knee, I know it's getting difficult, so take a break if you need to, bend into both your elbows, Push, shut it back out. I'll do one on each side again. Chaturanga, lower, push. Come back, high plank, left knee, left elbow. Chaturanga, push, back into downward facing dog. And we'll take a deep inhale here. Exhaling everything out. One more deep inhale in place. Exhaling everything out. This time, I would like to float my feet up towards the ceiling, so I draw my right knee, uh, feet up towards the ceiling to the back of the room, square up my hips here, push my palms into the floor, from there, take my gaze to the front of the room, and then draw my knee to the chest, pull and plug my knee to your chest, grab, take my gaze down towards my knee, and then gently float into this high lunging position here. You can also draw your ankles and bring them to the front if this hasn't happened for you. Stay here in a walk in a, uh, for a breath. From your high lunging position, reach out with your fingertips towards the front of the room. So you're really pushing your hips behind you, moving your belly out of that feet, finding a 90 degree bend in the front, pushing your big toe in, engaging in through your inner thighs, reaching and extending your fingers to the front. Extend, and then as you exhale, straight to that front knee, keep your gaze down, Nice straight spine there. Push your right hip center behind you. Two more. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, push that hip behind you, straighten through that knee. Lower down if you can. Inhale, high lunge again with your hands in place. Exhale again, push that hip straighten through that knee. This time, plant your palms on the inside of your right feet there and bring your shoulders in line with your wrist. We'll keep our left hand where it is, and we'll move in and out of this position. So inhale, right hand up. Keep your knee plugged in midline. Root your toes to the floor, and from there, draw your belly and squeeze through your pelvis, and rise up with your base. From here, I'll stay with my hips high, so I don't want to collapse in my hips. I want to stay lifted, and then drop my right elbow down on the inside of the right feet. Inhale, back up. I'll do three of them. Inhale, back up. One more. Inhale, back up, float open. From here, if you do want to take another moment to stretch, drop your back knee on the floor, open up through your shoulders a little bit. Let your knee move left and right this time. We're not creating any kind of a core stability here. Open that go and stretching. Just taking a break in between the sides. And then immediately planting your palms in between your hands. And stay lifted. So this is how you lift back into half plank. Pull your elbows, push your palms away, create that space to slide that feet and move into half plank. From there, down dog. Take one breath in your down dog. I lift my left leg up towards the ceiling, push my palms away, 
hug my knee into my chest, roll over to the front, create space by pushing the palms away and then sliding that feet here. Inhale, high lunge, lifting your hands to the front of the room, really using your fingertips to lean forward, but at the same time, plugging your shoulder blades back into that socket. So you don't want to keep stretching them, you want to strengthen through them. And then as you exhale here, straighten my front knee to find a nice flat spine, sending my left hip behind, right hip forward in a funky pyramid posture. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, straighten that knee. One last time, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, straighten your front knee. Inhale, back, high lunge. Drop your palms on the inside of your feet. Then keeping your right palm framed right underneath the shoulder. Inhale to lift through your left side body. Staying lifted in your hips, staying active in your core by plugging your belly in. So no, you shouldn't be able to, or you shouldn't get down with your pelvis like this. You should plug everything in, find midline. From there, three drops of elbows inside your left feet. Inhale, back up. Exhale, elbow down. Inhale, back up. Elbow down. Last time. Inhale, back up. I'll drop my back knee down on the floor. Untuck my toes into a gentle heart opening, gentle stretch into my hips. So we move into my shoulders before I come find high plank again. Planting my palms in between my feet, rolling over to the front, pushing, lifting through my core and my belly, floating that behind me, and then floating downward facing dog. Take another moment to breathe here in your downward facing dog. Exhale everything out. Take your gaze to the front of the room. You can step, jump, or gently walk. I'm going to bend my knees and take a gentle hop here. Not too much. Shoulder over. Inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the two knees. Today we'll take a different variation of chair where we'll rock back and forth our weight from our heels to our toes and heels to our toes to really feel the burn in our glutes and your quads here. So inhale, palms facing down. Go ahead and come onto your tippy toe. Keep your knees in together. If you do feel like keeping your feet away, this is not going to help your balance. Not going to transfer your weight evenly into each feet. So keep your heels lifted. Exhale, plant your hands into your heart center and send your hips down. So this is a relaxing pose. Inhale, back up. This time, inhale, lift up through your heart. Bring back down. Send your hips down. Relaxing pose, hands into heart center. Two more, inhale up, lift all the way up. Exhale back down, hands into heart center. Release into your hips here. One last one, inhale up, lift all the way up. Come back all the way down, release into a forward fold. Fold here, inhale halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Now you can tuck, tuck your chin into your chest. Give yourself a moment to pedal out through your heels left and right. Give your heart rate a second to drop down back to neutral. And then from there we'll rise up in Utkatasana again. So bending into your knees again. Gently sweeping the earth. Belly in, chabu tucks in. Rise up. All the way up. And then sit down deeper. One more breath. And then go down all the way back on the floor. Creating a vinyasa here for the one and only time in this class. So if you need to roll your weight over to the front, you can plug your palm into the floor, hug your elbows middle line, and then from there lean forward as much as possible. Or you can even bend into your knees, watch yourself in Chaturanga. Inhale, squeeze through your glutes, rise up. Exhale from there as you lift your hips back to downward facing dog. We'll take two breaths in down dog here. Deep inhale, filling up your lungs. Deep exhale, letting go of all the tension. One more deep inhale. And then exhale, lean down to the floor, come into a seated position. Now if you've observed, I've got two blocks with me here to support me in this next little asana prep, maybe even bakasin. Uh, never know where we'll go. So if you don't have blocks at home, take two really fat blocks 
and place them underneath and you will be able to use them exactly as blocks. You can do these without blocks as well by placing them on hands on the floor and I'll show you variations of both. So for the first one, just push your palms into the floor, elbows in towards each other, keep your chin tucked in, belly in, engage all your bandhas, gently lift through your knees. You want your tippy toes there, getting a good stretch into the back of your feet. Exhale it down. We're still stretching here, so push, lift. Exhale back down. This time as you lift, I want you to focus on lifting through your hips. Your knees will automatically lift. So push, chin down, belly squeeze, pelvis squeeze, and then hips lift, knees lift, keep the chin down. Exhale back down. Three. Exhale back down. Two. Exhale back down. Last one. Maybe try it without a block. Push. Lift. Exhale back down. Take a rest break if you need to. Just give it a good shake like I am here. And we'll try the last one with heels lifted off the floor this time. You can take one heel at a time or plug both heels into your glutes here. And that's the key. To keep everything in one midline here. All your bundles engaged. Punching your elbows in towards each other. Pushing your palms into that block or the floor. And then from there, lifting through your hips first. Knees rise up into your chest. Take your gaze down. Heel lifts one. Heel lifts two. Three. Four. Five. Come back down. Give it a good shake. You can alternatively do left heel, right heel, left heel, right heel. And then we'll move our blocks off the way. This is a nice preparatory pose for uh, Bakasan. But if you are doing Bakasan, it starts like this. Yeah, I won't demonstrate it today actually. So let's come back onto our hips. Take a moment to shake it into your ankles, heels. And again, I'm using blocks. You could use those blocks. You could do them without it. Just to need a little bit more strength. So go ahead and find those blocks next to your hips. And from here, we'll do an L to clip. So exactly like the lesson, when our feet float into the front of the room. Root your knees into the floor, lift through your heels, toes facing towards you. Belly in, squeeze through your pelvis, chin tucked in. Plant, hips lift. Then you can stay with your heel on the floor, or you can lift one heel off the floor, or both heel off the floor, and then come back down. We'll do five repetitions of this. I know, come and give your head, wrist a good shake, and let's do this. Hips lift, heels lift. One, two, down. Hips lift, heels lift. One, two, down. Shake it, move back into it. Lift your hips, lift your heel. Lift, down. Two more, push, lift, lift. Down. Give it another shake. One more. Last one. Give it all you have. Push. Lift, 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 lift. And down. Draw your right knee into your chest. Give it a good squeeze. You should feel really great. And also gives you a break from lifting into your wrist here. So, in this position, we'll alternatively lift our knees back and forth. I will show you two versions of it. One is lifting on in the air, and the other one's coming down each time on the floor and then lifting from there. So palm your, let me come closer to midline. Plug your palms again on the block, squeeze through your elbow. Keep your knee nice and straight, up facing up. Lift your hips. You can stay there with that heel or lift. Come back down, float, lift. Now this is version one. The second version will be once you lift, you draw your knee in, Float it to the front without touching that feet on the ground. And we'll do five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Your right knee back into your chest. Give it a good squeeze. Float the opposite knee into your chest. Give it a good squeeze. Take a moment to release through your wrist if you need to. And then go ahead and place the blocks away. Four. The books away. I will do one more last core exercise or a set of repetitions, and from there we should be able to uh, get done. Come back into this high plank variation like we did in the beginning of class. This one you might go all the way, and you don't need to, but you might. 
So roll your shoulders again over your wrist, push, flex and hollow through your belly and your shoulders. Take your gaze in neutral, keep your feet hip of distance, in a thigh engage, lift through your hips. Right knee to the right side, push, lift, float, come back, push, inhale, come back, head like, left knee, left side, place, push, knee, and then float. Maybe you lift through your back feet, maybe not. Doesn't matter. Come back down and facing dog. I'll do one more set of that and then we can call it a day. Come back into high plank. Push, feet hip a distance. Bring your right knee into your right tricep. Come lower down into that half chaturanga position. From there you can find your balance, maybe, maybe not. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Come back down dog, take a break. Come back into high plank, left knee, into your left tricep, lower down in chaturanga, float your feet down, maybe you lift to the back feet, maybe not. Inhale up dog for the last time, exhale downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in the downward dog, exhale all down with your hands and knees, and then take a moment to relax. Today we're going to start with a meditation, so I'd like to end with one. Rest the back of your wrist on the insides of your thigh. And this should be really easy to get into a deep meditation here, using this moment to bring your heart rate back to normal. Close your eyes, draw your chin in, and then gently with that eyes close, allow your breath to happen. Feel the rise and the fall of your chest. Feel the sound, listen to the sound of your heart as it rises, as it beats, creating that energy and prana in your body. You want to use that prana to keep that prana within you. And at this point, observe what your breath's doing. Slowly and steadily, your breath finds stillness. Your mind finds stillness. Your body becomes still. Everything around you becomes still. Your awareness may be into your third eye, allowing you to let go of all the thoughts that you're holding on to. Staying here present in the moment. Thank you so much for joining me in practice today. My name is Kavita Namaste. Maybe you can add this practice to your existing practice, to a vinyasa practice, or take a simple stretch at the end of this class. Thank you.